Abdi. Yo, what's good? What the what the hell's going on with your hair, bro? Big fan, man. I appreciate that, but what's going on with your hair? It's been a while since the cut, you know. I've been a while since the cut. Since when? Maybe like a year and a half, two years. I don't know. Uh, bro, he, my lord. Why? Why you haven't gotten it like braided? What? What is going on, bro? Where do you? Nah. What's going on, bro? Why is your hair looking like that? It looked like you got electrocuted, bro. What? What's? What are you doing? <laughs> I, like it looks better when I condition it, you know, like the curls. But why do you? Why right are you moving it up like that? Like do something with it. You know, you about to get on a live stream. That's true. I was not expecting to be like dragged. It's not about kind of being dry. I'm looking at your presentation, bro. If a girl saw you like that, she would think something wrong with you. I'm, I'm looking out for you, bro. What, what, you got a lot, you got nice long hair. Do something with it right now. Do something. Do something. Okay. Yeah. Don't just leave it looking crazy, bro. It's better. Not really, but it, it, <laughs> it, it has potential. It has potential. You have nice long hair, but you're doing. I don't know what way. What like? Okay, now nah, okay. Let's 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 talk about. Oh my lord! All right, <laughs> so your hair looks like it looks electrocuted, which is making your forehead look huge. You should drop that nah, hair, huh? So Molly, got big foreheads. Yeah, but that hair can drop over your. It can drop over your forehead, bro. Yeah, if you if you took care of your hair, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It can yeah 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 yeah. It can drop over your forehead. But you got to yeah. do, you, do you walk outside? Barely. Barely. You, so you don't walk outside. You don't leave the house. Barely. Not too much now. Why? What are you doing in your home all day? So I'm on vacation right now. I'm in Kenya. I'm just chilling, just staying inside the crib basically. Where do you live, bro? I'm from Ohio, but I'm in Kenya right now. Okay, when you're in Ohio and you're looking like that, do you go outside? No, nah. like most of the time I take care of myself, you know, like conditioner, shampoo, but but not right now. I'm saying, listen, listen, I'm saying, do you have a social life? Do you ever leave the house? Some, not, 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 nah. <laughs> do you yeah. have a job, bro? Do I do job? clinical trials. Clinical trials? Yeah, that's what I do. Odd so, jobs around the city. That's about it. Okay, that's 95. You have to go to that place, right? Yeah. And you go looking like that? No. Hell no. You sure? Yeah, I, got, I have like some self-respect, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You, you came on a live stream with 1,500 people. I don't know. I, you, I, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just making sure that you're not going out in public looking like that because that's crazy. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Okay. So, so I need you, your help. Right. You, you need a lot of help. So... Let's put the phone down. Let's see what your physique looks like first. All right. As long, as, long as you got pants on, you, you can stay in front. You got pants on? Yeah. Okay. So you can prop the phone up, put it down somewhere so we can see what your body looks like. That's too much light. Uh. Okay. What, 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 how old are you, bro? 26. Why does your body look like that at 26? You don't go to the gym? Nah. Why not? I got no potential. What the hell does that even mean? Like, you know, Somalis, we're never big. We're always skinny. Oh, shut the hell up. I'm sick of y'all and y'all bullshit victim mentality from y'all countries. Stop it. Yo, fit, fit, fit. Have you ever seen a buff Somali? Tell me. I don't care. You could be the first one. You could be the first one. Did you try going to the gym or you just gave up? We don't got the jeans. We don't got the like wide shoulders and no. That's not you don't us. got wide shoulders. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up right now. Stand up. This man just said he don't got wide shoulders. Your shoulders wide as hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> if you didn't go to the gym, how are you gonna how are you gonna know what your physique can be? Be what's the what's the capabilities of your physique if you don't go to the gym? That's true. That sounds like a defeatist. Are y'all this sad, bro? Are y'all this sad? Oh, I'm not going to go to the gym, you know, because my genetics, you haven't even gone. <laughs> You're right. How tall are you, bro? Like 5'10". Okay. Do you yeah. like 
that's you know, like I'm sorry. You like girls, right? Just making sure. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay, when's the last time you've been with one? Been with one like sexually? Yeah. Never. And you never reached that base. And you're 26. How old? 26. Right. Okay. Do you do let's put let's let's put some let's put two and two together right now. You're 26. You haven't ever had sex. Mm -hmm. You're walking around with electrocuted hair. You haven't been to the gym. Do you see maybe where the correlation is with your mentality in relation to your results? Mm -hmm. Do you see being a defeatist, not trying? Do you see why it hasn't gotten you laid, even though you like girls? Yeah. Do you want to have sex? Like To be fair, I slept with a girl, but she never let me smash. So you just you just cut it with her. She spent the night. Yeah, she spent the night. All right, so you a cut a buddy. Cut a buddy. <laughs> you hugging her. You hugging her to sleep. Watch did Tyrone. Tyrone. Tyrone fucked the shit out of her. You went cut her with her. Right? Yeah. That's pretty sad. Do you want to have sex? Yes, I do. Okay. It's very so, embarrassing. Okay, so if you want to have sex, you have to start putting effort. You got to start putting in. You got to start trying. Hey, I got to go to the gym and, and give it the best shot I can give it. I got to make sure I'm my, my hair is presentable at all times. I got to be well-groomed. I have to try. Do you think a girl is going to come knock on your door and just give you some ass? Like, I feel like these girls, they want Duke Dennis. They don't want me. It's not fair. Oh, shut the hell up. Duke they want Dennis the jewelry. Yeah, they, want they don't want a regular Joe. He built himself. Ain't nobody gave that dude shit. He built himself. You motherfuckers look at every dude at the finish line and be like, oh, why do women want him? Because he tried. Because he gave effort. He wasn't a defeatist that sat in his fucking house and didn't care. He got out. He got off his ass and put some effort in. Mm -hmm. Put some effort. You can maybe be the dude that the girls want as well. Y'all okay, don't want to so do no I, work. How can you improve my looks? Fuck Other looks. than the hair. You need your effort. Okay, sorry, sorry. Your effort needs yeah. to be improved. Effort. Where is the effort? To start trying. How much money are you making, bro? Maybe 25K a year. Ah, man. Hey, which, which struggle do you want the most? Which one you want to figure out? You got, you got several of them. Not having sex. Not making money. Like, which struggle? I want girls. I want money. I want everything. No, like, how do I get it? It doesn't sound like it, though. You ain't trying. You're not trying to do anything. You're, you're not trying to make more money. Because it can't be. can't be because you're on vacation. How the fuck you can afford a vacation when you're poor? <laughs> Who is a vacation uh, when you're I poor? Got savings. I, I got savings. I don't spend that much money. How much savings you got? Like 11K. Bro, you still... This man say 11K in savings. Bro. Is that bad? Bro. Bro. That is bad. You know what, like, demotivated me? I, I brought this girl over, right? I paid for her Ubers. I paid for everything. I, I bought her dinner. And I still didn't smash. No shit. Because like, you look like that. Of course. Who told you I that know. taking a girl on a date? Who told you taking a girl on a date meant you was going to smash? Who told you that bullshit? Because if you take... that, That's the currency. If no, you bring not. her food, if you take care of her, you get access to her body. That's how it works. <laughs> What's... Hey, FedEx Fields is not affiliated with that message. That is not what it is. A woman has to uh, willingly what have sex with you. Me? What does a girl want from me? If she I give her all you, of that, she, she wants you to be the best version of yourself, the best option for her. Just because you took her out of dinner don't mean she's going to let you fuck. That's, no, that's not what that means, bro. Yeah, I know. Just make your face. <gasps> yeah. yeah, that's not what that means. You know why? Because she'll use your ass for dinner. You know why she'll use it for dinner? Because you don't give a fuck about improving yourself. You you just take girls out. The first girl that lets you take her on a date. How many times? Let me ask you a question. That girl you took on a date that used you for dinner, how, how many times did you ask her to go out with you? Just once. I met her on a dating app. And I okay. just messaged her. So let me take you out to a nice dinner. Come back to my apartment. Let's chill. Let's watch a movie. Ooh. We're cuddling. We're kissing. We're, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. The message you sent her was, let me take you out to a nice dinner. Yes. 
I was going to get it with your ass too. Listen, really? If you gave Ooh. me some free food, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any one of you motherfuckers that want to take FedEx Twins on a free dinner, I go too. I eat your food too, bro. I ain't going to fuck you. It's crazy though. I treated treat her like a queen. I was at her feet, kissing her feet. You were like kissing her feet. Of the world. Yeah. Like she was the queen of the world. No and fucking shit. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Of course she didn't fuck you. She thought you were a loser. You oh. kissed you, you kissed a girl's feet that, that you don't know. What the fuck are you expecting, bro? You kissed her. made feet. her feel like the most special girl in the entire world. Aww. 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 You gave her free food and you kissed her feet. Then she went back and fucked Tyrone. Oh, lesson learned. Stop putting women on a pedestal. Lesson learned. Wait, wait, let, me, let me ask you this. So I treat women good. I don't smash. I treat women bad. I don't smash. What do I do? You don't. You don't. Nobody's telling you to treat women bad. Stop. Being nice to women, being nice to women is what gets you. What stop, nice stop, talking. stop. Sorry. Listen, you being nice means you're giving a woman shit that she doesn't deserve. Be kind to people in general. A woman that deserves and has earned my provision, my attention, is a woman I will do these nice things for. I still ain't kissing her fucking feet, but your strategy is to be a mega simp, and hopefully she fuck you. Women don't like pathetic men. She could tell that you're not used to getting ass. You just met her. You're taking her to a nice dinner. You're kissing her fucking feet like a loser. And then you want her to get wet enough to fuck you. She's attracted to a winner. A winner ain't doing none of that stupid ass shit. So practice being a winner. Here's how you do it, Abdi. You start putting in some effort, taking care of your appearance, going to the gym, stop being a defeatist, right? Okay. Make your presentation good, and then she's gonna fuck you because you ain't gonna be trying so hard to fuck her. Okay, I see that. Yeah, you go. So let's practice that. Let's stop worrying okay. about Duke Dennis and all these men who have put in effort, and you start putting in some fucking effort. You start, you start being the man that these girls want. I'm gonna do that for sure. Okay, get to work. Peace. All right, thank you so much.